Pro Group Management. Workers' comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review-Journal. Good evening, I'm Jen Ah. Thanks for joining us on 7 at 7. In Top Stories, sponsored by Nevada Hand Silver Sky Assisted Living Community. Learn more at nevadahand.org. We have an update on New Orleans Saints running back Alvin Kamara arrested during Pro Bowl weekend. Kamara reportedly told Las Vegas police he threw a couple punches after a man called one of his friends ugly. Police say the victim was shaken up and in pain, suffering an orbital fracture near his eye. Review Journal's Renee Summerauer has the details. Renee. Jen, video surveillance shows Kamara punching the victim repeatedly before people with Kamara stomped on the man while he was on the floor, according to reports. The victim never hitting back. The alleged attack occurred at 6.30 a.m. as Kamara and his group were leaving Dre's nightclub inside the Cromwell. Kamara told police he thought the man had done something to someone in his group, which included his girlfriend, his assistant, and a couple of friends. He was uh, trying to enter an elevator and he was stopped by Kamara and his group. And all of a sudden, he was shoved and punched. That surveillance video shows a man fall to the ground unconscious after Kamara punched him, and that people in his group uh, began stomping on his face, legs, and arms. The victim now at a local hospital telling police it was very hard for him to remember the incident. Las Vegas Justice Court records show Kamara bailed out of the Clark County Detention Center Sunday night and is due in court March 8th. He faces one felony count of battery resulting in substantial bodily harm. Jen. And after a speeding driver killed nine in North Las Vegas, the Review Journal looks into how police determine how fast a car is going during the time of the crash, usually through its black box. In the big crash that happened in North Las Vegas recently, um, they were able to use that black box to determine that the car was going over 100 miles an hour and didn't appear to be trying to slow down. Investigators also take into account skid marks, debris, and vehicle damage. In business, sponsored by Bank of Nevada, Bank on Accountability. If you've been delving into Las Vegas real estate for the last 10 years, you may have tripled your investment. Last month, the median sales price for a previously owned home was a record $435,000, up 2.4% from December and more than triple what it was a decade ago. However, the number of sales and inventory did drop by 19% compared to the previous month. Plus, the famous brothel, The Love Ranch, is on sale for $1.2 million. The 2018 Republican candidate for Assembly District 36. Dennis Ha formerly owned this prump property until he was found dead there. The brothel features 15 furnished master suites, large bar, and two kitchens. The property is being sold as is, cash only. In health, our neighboring state, California, is set to end its indoor mask mandate next week for vaccinated people. Mask rules still apply for the unvaccinated and school children. Everyone will also be required to mask up at higher risk areas such as public transit, nursing homes or other congregate living facilities. Did you know two out of three cases of Alzheimer's disease are in women? Maria Shriver's nonprofit called the Women's Alzheimer's Movement hopes to spread awareness. In 2020, Shriver and the Cleveland Clinic teamed up to offer an Alzheimer's prevention center here in Las Vegas. And a new option to get the COVID vaccine. Circa in downtown Las Vegas is hosting a vaccine clinic from 1 to 3 p.m. every Wednesday through March 9th. The clinic will offer free Pfizer and Moderna shots along with flu vaccinations. In Weather, sponsored by Star Nursery, your garden's partner for every blooming thing. After a beautiful day, we're looking at temps warmer in recent days still in the 60s, set to taper off to the 40s overnight. On Wednesday, expect some breezes and a few clouds, with a high of 74 and low of 52 degrees. On Thursday, the clouds should clear out, with highs remaining in the 70s all week. Enjoy the warmer weather while it lasts. Next week, we may experience a cool down. Sports, brought to you by Station Casino's STN Sports. Download the app today. Now that Rich Basaccia is on his way to Green Bay, the Raiders have reportedly found his replacement and former Denver Broncos special teams coach Tom McMahon. McMahon spent the last three years with the Broncos and has overseen special teams for multiple organizations, including the Rams, Falcons, Chiefs, and Colts. McMahon and Raiders head coach Josh McDaniels worked together in St. Louis in 2011. McMahon replaced 
replaces Basaccia, who accepted the same position with the Packers. Sports betting sponsored by Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. The South Point moved its Super Bowl line today, offering the best price in Las Vegas on the Rams at minus four at minus 105 odds. Treasure Island is the only other sports book at minus four, but with minus 125 odds. All the other sports books are at Rams minus four and a half. The South Point also has the best money line price on the Rams at minus 195. And lifestyle, a Las Vegas student makes history by, get this, earning 138 merit badges as a Boy Scout. Review Journal's James Schaefer takes us to the Court of Honor. There are over 100 merit badges available in the Boy Scouts of America. Well, one local Boy Scout is being recognized for his work receiving his 138th merit badge, an accomplishment only done by less than 600 Scouts. In a ceremony surrounded by uniforms both old and new, Cash Carlin received a certificate of achievement for gaining his 138th merit badge. Um, I'm going to be aging out soon, so this is my last one. Cash reflected on his biggest takeaway from this accomplishment. Helping people, it has been honestly a privilege. And there's just a lot of like the moral system that they teach you and some of the relationships you build. And for those following in Cash's footsteps to get all those merit badges, he has some advice. Try to keep it local because doing it with people that you know can definitely be a lot more fun. Go somewhere cool that you've never been before, just make it fun. For the Las Vegas Review Journal, I'm James Schaefer. In entertainment sponsored by DiscoverNevada.com, brought to you by Travel Nevada. Breaking today, the killers are coming back to the strip. The Las Vegas band is set to play at the Chelsea at the Cosmopolitan on tax day, April 15th. The ticket presale starts Wednesday at Ticketmaster.com. And seafood lovers unite. If you have $240 to spare, a 16-course fine dining experience is coming to Area 15 next month. Lost Spirits Distillery says its 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea restaurant will offer creative dishes including uni creme brulee and nori bonbons. Thank you for watching 7 at 7. If you have a Roku device, just search Review Journal to download our channel. Watch Las Vegas breaking news streaming live on your OTT device. We'll see you back here tomorrow for more 7 at 7. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.